mentioned at the beginning of Mass, it's a real joy for me to be here. I haven't had Mass here at the Divine Mercy Center, so it's a joy to come here. I also grew up in Sterling Heights, so coming back to Macomb County is always a great joy, living in Detroit now. The Gospel that we have today, the Lord is teaching His disciples, and as we'll hear in the Gospel this weekend, He sends them out with pretty strict instructions about going out and proclaiming the good news, and he gives them power to do great things. We hear their return today, the great work that they've done in the Lord's name, the many people that they've healed, the good words that they've preached, the way that they've helped people to know the love of the Father made incarnate for us in Jesus. They come back excited about all that they've done, Jesus' response to them is come away by yourselves to a deserted place and rest a while. The Lord has a mission for each of us, for all of us, to make his name known, to bring the love of Jesus Christ into the world, to bring that into every situation in our lives, with our families, with our friends, with, in our neighborhoods, in our workplaces, maybe even in more remote places or different places, that the Lord desires us to be the ones who bring His name to them. That all of us have a mission that the Second Vatican Council teaches that the mission of the laity is to bring the gospel into the world in places where priests and religious can't go. And so each of us has that job that we hear Jesus telling his disciples to go out and preach that good news and show the power of God by your lives. Show the love that has transformed your life, your life to others. But Jesus also wants us to come away and rest a while. And I think there's a couple of reasons for that. Jesus doesn't just want foot soldiers going out into the world, but he wants friends who know him, who know him intimately. And so we spend time to rest a while so that we can know Jesus more completely. And so that Jesus can plumb the depths of our soul and come into every fiber of our being. We come to Mass so that we can rest and be in the presence of Jesus come spend time in adoration, come away and rest with him so that we can know him more completely. But I think another reason the Lord invites us to come away, I think it's really clear with the apostles today, they were doing really great things. Jesus wants them to come away and rest a while so that they can remember in whose name they're doing these things. So they don't get caught up in thinking that it's their own power or it's their own accomplishment. To come away to a deserted place and rest with Jesus is to come away in our poverty and to realize that on our own, we can't do anything. But it's by the power of Jesus working through us that we're able to be his hands and feet, his mouth to the world. So the Lord invites us to come away so that we can remember that it's only by His power. So that we can bring our brokenness and our whatever we're lacking and lay it at the feet of Jesus. We heard in our first reading the teaching in the letter to the Hebrews to make a sacrifice of praise to God. Through Jesus, let us continually offer God a sacrifice of praise that we make of our lives a sacrifice. We give that over to the Lord. That phrase, sacrifice of praise, sacrificium laudis, has been part of the understanding of the Mass for centuries. But that's what we're doing here. We're making an offering of our lives to Jesus. Come away this morning to rest a bit, to give our lives to Jesus, to lay them on the altar, body and blood of Jesus and offer them to the Father saying Lord I know the great things 
that you can do when I give my life to you. Brothers and sisters, this morning, let's make that offering of ourselves. Let's say to God, Lord, take my life, I offer it as a sacrifice of praise. And I know that whatever I give you is not lost, but it's transformed into something greater. So today, I lay my life, all my hopes and dreams, all my accomplishments and failures, I lay them on the altar with your son, Jesus. I offer that to you today, Heavenly Father. 